Well, now on to our top talker, walking. It sounds like an easy daily activity, but experts say we are not doing enough of it, especially being homebound during the pandemic. WKYC 3 News teamed up with the Today Show's Al Roker for Take a Walk Today to raise awareness for the power in walking. Uh, some of our anchors from our local NBC stations all around the country got out and walked this morning as well. From St. Louis to Raleigh and, of course, here in Cleveland. Let's uh, bring in my good friend Betsy Kling from Cleveland. Hey, Bets, how you doing? WKYC, my old stomping grounds. Yep. We miss you, Al. That's for sure. I'll tell you what. You know how it goes in Cleveland. When the sun is out in February, it's a good day. Uh -huh. And it's 27 degrees, but we are loving it today. Al spent all morning virtually walking with local meteorologists across the country, including our own Holly Strano. It's all part of an initiative to promote walking in winter. Studies show that walking outside in the cold is actually more beneficial to you than walking inside or in the heat. When you walk in the cold, your body has to work harder to keep your body temperature up and keep that blood flowing so you get more of a workout. We talked to Dr. Roy Bushinsky from University Hospitals about how to get off that couch and start moving. He says even a little walk can go a long way. You don't have to start walking for 30 minutes at one time. In fact, you can divide it up. You can go for what I call little snacks of walking or snacks of exercise where you go at for a five or 10 minute preferably at a time. Start low and go slow. You want to increase it by about 10% every week or so, so that ultimately you're not getting injured when you first start doing your physical activity. And with many still working from home, still cooped up inside because of the pandemic and other setbacks, nearly half of all adults are not active enough. And walking is good for your wallet. It's free. Are you, are you in Shaker Heights? Well, I am in Shaker Heights, and as a matter of fact, you know how Cleveland is. You just never know who you're going to see, including <laughs> your sister. There's Elisa and her husband, Andre. We thought we'd surprise you. Good morning. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yeah, and you know, when I was sitting there, I'm thinking, morning. I know that street. This is my sister, Elisa, my brother-in-law, Andre Smith. My gosh, that's fantastic.